Welcome back everyone to Off The Shelf Reviews playthrough of Alien Isolation Part 17. I'm Gary and I've just escaped the alien nest and now I need to try and get communications back on so that I can get the hell off this station. And as always, I I'm now in the transit station and now I, I don't know which way it is I have to go. Now let's check the map. Okay, Transit station. Okay, get to the engineering transit station. Medical facility. Uh, Sistech Spire. The tower. Maybe it was at the tower. This is what I mean about getting lost. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm at the transit area, but which one takes me to medical? Uh, San Cristobal medical facility. I don't actually see... Habitation tower. Oh, that one's offline. Is it the... I'm guessing it's the Psy Med Tower. It's, it's a good guess. I'm guessing it's a guess. A good guess, rather. Okay. Okay, now. There is an alien nest that I have just... Kicked in the crotch, essentially. And I can imagine it's going to be pretty pissed. There's probably going to be a ton of aliens now leaving the nest. I can't imagine the aliens are going to be walking around going, oh, all our dead brothers and sisters. Okay, let's go. So it was the Psy Med Tower. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Instead of saying, go to somewhere where it's not labelled clearly. Just a few things that I'd like to see addressed in this game. <laughs> it's not that I, you know, get easily lost at all. It's the fact that the the game's not programmed correctly. That's 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 the thing. The alien is not the only threat on board the station. No, how about aliens? Lots of aliens. So it's just me, Ricardo, and I believe uh, Samuel's. Is still on the ship as well. Along with Marlo. Okay. There's nothing to pick up here. You were medical. Did you manage to get the comms? I'm in here, but I was too late. Apollo's recovered from the reactor purge and knocked out external comms again. Typical. So why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rick. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sebastopol. Nice work. Get to work. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. Find a short range ambulance and try and uh, get aboard the Anisadora. A different evacuation ship. I guess if it's on its way in, and it sounds like I just heard the aliens hissing in my direction. I guess this should be the last that I'll be sprinting for a while. Oh, can't get in there. Need to restore the power. This place is all messed up. Oh, doors are still opening on their own. I guess power's not totally screwed. Crayons, the deadliest weapon I've come across yet. See, I'd be picking up crayons and leaving leaving little messages to myself telling me which way to go next. I could just leave little pointing arrows. Yeah. Okay, what do we got in here? Just some scrap. Could do with some of that. Was that anything else? Ah, yeah, some scrap over there. It was on the chair, so I couldn't see it. Anything back here first? Nope. Okay. Yep, I remember. Remember coming in here before. But it's always worth double checking. Get some more shotgun shells. That's movement. There's 
no vents above me. There's not many hidey places here either. Still got movement behind me. Let's grab those flashlight batteries. What have we got down here? Another injector. Okay. So far so good. Not been jumped by anything yet. I missed where it said we were going, but I'm sure it's the right direction. Okay. I apologize if that first part of the video was a little bit jumpy. Been plagued with a few technical issues the last, last couple of days. Although, I mean, I'd say that off-the-shelf reviews are still in its teething period, especially for doing uh, video game stuff. It's still pretty new to us. Uh, still excited about bringing more more content, though. Okay, I remember being in here. I remember climbing all the way up there. He's already taken one. Huh. So I'm playing catch up now. Can we search the body? Lots of stuff we could take. It's wow. This place. Yep. Damn. Flare? Yeah, I don't need flares. Do with just some extra scrap. It's worth checking just, just to top up on supplies, really. With that many aliens running around, I'm going to need that much more flamethrower rounds. So even if I were to shoot the alien with the shotgun, it, it wouldn't scare it off like the flamethrower does. It just pisses it off. Please, no, no. How are you still alive? Fucking droids. Oh, bring it on. I, I'm not the flamethrower, the bolt gun. There we go. i got to make some distance because it takes so long to power it up. There we go, powering up now. Shaking uncontrollably and pop. Didn't see that coming, did you? He had some flamethrower rounds. Well, 25. It's not really a lot. It's not even half a blast. But I'll take it. You can hear all that flamethrower fuel swishing around as you move around now. It's not exactly stealthy, is it? I found somewhere I can hide. Is that... Can I hear an alien? No. Hearing the heavy footfalls and it just makes me think the aliens are already here. Aha! So that's right, someone uh, pointed out earlier, I can't remember who it was, about the uh, the unicorn. Maybe a, a tie-in to, to Blade Runner there. Same director, Ridley Scott. I doubt there'll be anything new to access on the terminal, as we've... Uh, been this way once before. Game wants me to go back this way. So it's got to. Maybe there was something and I need it to get into here. No? Okay. Still going back over old ground. I've got movement on the tracker behind me. So I'm just going to keep moving away from the, no the movement on the tracker. <laughs> I'm not feeling curious. There's an elevator I've just gone past. Another one. Don't open next to me. Ambulance bay? Was that? That was where I needed to go. Space ambulance. Ambulance. Okay. Flashbang version 3. Uh, as you can see, I... Damn, that system isn't powerful enough. Uh, so we need to upgrade it. 
I had a, well, it's Marlowe's ship, and he's probably not had to deal with half the shit I have, so he's totally prepped for it. And what's that? Just so happened to be an access tuner. Upgrade right there. Find a level 3 upgrade for it. Was, wasn't that it? Hack the door and board the shuttle. So did, did, was that it? You know, sometimes I do get irritated when it's like, you need to go and find this key, which is somewhere in this room. In order to get to this secret room, you need to find the security code, which is also in this room. It's kind of like, it, well, I like it that you don't have to go trawling through the whole game to try and find something you might have missed. But at the same time, it's a little bit... Damn it. It's a little bit weak to leave it in the exact same place. But I shouldn't complain too much. Uh, ah, Get it together, Ripley. You've made two mistakes in a row now. You can't afford another one. That one and the last one. Only two and a bit seconds left on the clock. It's getting closer and closer. Just punch the dash. Literally? Okay. I love the little joysticks on the on the keyboard controls. Alright. Let's get off this station. Please. Cool sound effect back there. We we have we have jettisoned. We have left the station. Ah, I didn't get very far. Oh there we go. We are in the blackness of space. Where no one can hear me scream. Okay, so I guess we're now heading to the Anisadora to escape with possibly Marlow and that Wayland Utani bitch that we came in with. Hmm. What's the bets that she has somehow managed to sneak an alien egg or an alien embryo of some kind onto that ship? Oh, there I go, flying through the loading screen. You know what those corporate bastards are like. Okay. So we've already been on the Anisadoria and uh, in the flashback sequence, and it, remember it looking just like the Nostromo. I'm right outside the Sevastopol station. How are you telling me we've lost range already? Uh, I guess lucky comms are working at all. I'm gonna save the game just to be safe. Yes, please. So, I probably guess what happens to the crew on here. Probably saw some of the crew, possibly. Back at the alien nest. I don't know. I mean, Marlow was the only one that was alive. I'm, I'm guessing the alien uh, hatched on the station. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. Is that a tape? Maybe we'll find out. Yeah, I'm gonna take you to an alien, uh, alien planet, and uh, get you infected with an alien. Approaching Sevastopol. I saw a code just now as well. Station. Oh well, this is 
got to play quality to suit you, right? It's Marlin's ship. She's Marlin's wife. And things got heated, and Meech's got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things will get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Marlow doesn't take nearly enough for that kind of noise. So I guess the crew were a little bit shaky about salvaging a willing Utani vessel. So why am I the one restarting the generators? I thought Marlow was already on board. You think he would have done this already? You, you would have think he would have wanted to get far away from Sebastopol as possible? Regardless of who he was leaving behind? Wow, what is it with generators lately? Just... Door locked. Door locked. Can't get through here. Door locked. Okay. Sometimes it's worth sticking around once you've done something because you might miss something like this. Use the security tuner. Okay, which mini game is this? It's the. I am. I am not having a good time with the hacking games today. And there we go. There we go. And the hardest one. Gotcha. Access granted. Are we alive? It's alive. When I hear that sound, I always think it's going to explode. I'm so used to everything exploding lately. Ricardo, in case you're hearing that, I've got the news for his basic power systems back online. Doors should be open. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marlow. Yeah, still no sign of Marlow. Hey, Rempley. Welcome to the Anisadora. Thank you. Where are you, Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to fix. Like what? Like what? Find Marlo. I'm trying to find Marlo. Not really. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh god. Taylor, Marlo, what are you doing? I got the wrong weapon equipped. Taylor. This is definitely Taylor's doing. And she's like, yeah, he double crossed me. I I don't think so somehow. Unless I don't know, they they're both in it together. Uh, there's going to be more face crawling, hugging bugs in here. Let's get that flame for already. Let's kick over everything we can, Ripley. Make as much noise as possible. It's alright. Okay, what have we got here? Yep, Sebastopol. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's play this one. The late Marshall Waits. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. You should. And I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short range shuttle. I must remind you that Sebastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Waits up. Well, kind of twisted their arm then, didn't you, Waits? Because they needed medical attention straight away, and they weren't going to get it unless they gave you some of the salvage. Which, I believe you got. Actually, he didn't get killed by the alien, which is, which is unfortunate. That's twice over now. You haven't really been killed by the aliens. You got blown up by Vasquez, and then you got killed by an android. I suppose you could count uh, Gorman being killed by the alien, but he's killed up by Vasquez's grenade. Okay, let's head into the dark part of the ship. I'm looking at all these fire extinguishers, keep thinking they're flamethrower ammo. I'm wrong.
I'm sympathetic to that. Sound like my mother. It's one. The company is never gonna know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow it. It makes sense, Marlow. It's within keeping of the alien uh, cannon. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. I, my eyes are just not working today. I'm looking at it, and it all just seems like hieroglyphics today. I just can't. I can't play snap. Christ, the ship feels like it's falling apart as well. I thought he was repairing stuff or fixing things. The cryo tubes are all sticking out of the wall sockets. Okay, there's a save point just. I wanted to save it before the door opened, damn it. Damn. Electronic sensitive doors. Okay, it's looking promising. It's the power core. Wow. No power. No power. View the flight recorded data. That's what we want. Report personal message. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart, and I hope you get to hear it one day. You see, I um, I got into trouble. Um, my ship. There was an accident, sweetheart, and um, we found. An alien creature it was very dangerous and the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship uh, I'm okay I'm stuck on this lifeboat long way out but we had to destroy the ship we had to destroy the Nostromo we just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us I needed to protect you don't worry don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. Mom. Where are you? Still got another 30 odd years of floating around out there, I'm afraid. Before anyone's gonna find you. It was awesome they got Sigourney Weaver to, to lend her voice. Whoa, okay. Alright, so you, you're. You listen to my mother and you're taking it quite literally. Oh, God. I hate to say it. I'd rather be back on Sebastopol. I, I do say I, I kind of in agreement with you. Listen to me. We don't have to do this. Don't stop it, Marlo. Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood. If she was here, she'd be helping me. You think she would want company shooting on the zip code of that creature? No one would know. Yes, but she'd still try to save lives. You well in, you tiny bitch. I think that was too late. He set it going. He set it going. Taylor, I'll stop the overload. You have to help me. Go to that console. Yeah, I'll I'll stop the overload by uh overload. let's uh no Hold power. The system so I can work on nope. I need power. Set to the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters A U X. I found it. 
Is it on? Well, it sounds like you did it. Okay, let's charge the auxiliary generator. Spam that A button. Uh, I can hear that deep, low humming sound getting louder. It's not gonna blow. Okay. It's not gonna blow. Now switch the maintenance terminal from auto to manual. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Oh god, now my life depends on it. I can't get a signal. No signal. Locking in. Locking in. There it is. There. There. That one. That one. And finally, got it. Oh, that sound. Deactivate the fusion array. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's going to blow any second. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you helped. It's probably the most useful thing you've done all game. Oh, we got to get back to the ambulance. There's the alarms again. Oh, God. Taylor, find a way out. Oh. No, you can't get through the glass. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, don't close. Don't close. Oh. Oh. I did not expect to be. Oh shit! Everything's exploding. I can't remember my way back. Oh shit! I'm just running in a straight line. Uh, through here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Don't, don't stop that! Whoa! What the? I guess the ship must be spinning out of control. Uh, I need a spacesuit. I need a spacesuit. Damn! Critical collapse. No shit! I'm surprised I don't have burns all over my face and arms. Uh, that's where the face uggers were, weren't they? Ugh. Okay, I'm just running. I get, I'm, be I'm betting all the face uggers are like rats leaving the ship as well. That looks like an alien, goddammit! Is that the ambulance bay right in front of me? Come on. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Launch the ambulance, Rip. Let's go. I feel like I held my breath for that entire sequence. Ah. I'm guessing that it was actually on an invisible timer. And uh, I'm guessing if you fanny around too long... You're just going to explode on the ship. My uh, survival instincts are keeping me from wanting to stay there to find out what would happen. Although, going back to the Sevastopol station? Yeah, that sounds like a fun idea. Let's go back to the droids and the aliens. Well, that's what Ripley would do. Kind of. Maybe I've come back to save the cat. Oh yeah, Ricardo. Can't see anything out there. Why is my ambulance I was on screwed? It managed to get back here okay. I'm sure I could take that. Oh. Trying. You, so, I mean, you could have docked beforehand? Uh, that was close. You could have docked beforehand and you chose not to. Great. 
all this could have been over with. Now I would say don't dog, because there's an alien nest to deal with. But I need to, because I want to get out. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, if the orbital stabilizers are out, the station is going to crash into the planet and there's going to be nothing left. Ergo, no evidence for alien Utani to find. Just Welcome. another conspiracy. Ah, oh, not you again. I'm not signing in at reception. I'd still be sat there from like 10 videos ago. You got company. Season security just came through. Guns in hand, not friendly. I had to hide under a desk. What do they want? Oh, God. They heard the broadcast. They want to contact it. I think they plan on taking it by force. Thanks, Verlaine. So what are we talking about here? Armed androids? Ah! Or... Wait, if they're human... What are they? Wailing Yutani forces? Confused. Okay. So let's have a quick peek. He's gone. So I guess you can burn the droids after a while. Okay, let's just try and use my ion torch and hope that nobody hears me making all this noise. And then again, there's so many things exploding and crackling around the ship. You can imagine they might not hear this. I always have trouble going around those corners. Son of locks will get stuck somehow. Come on. I know. Definitely would have heard that. Let's go quickly check the map. Okay, so it looks like I'll be taking a shortcut all the way around. Do I need to? Trying to be careful. I had a feeling that the vent I was going to take would have come out there. Hey, I'm going to open it now, just in case I get chased later. And if I'm being chased, I'm not going to have any time to to open this vent then. As we know, I've never been chased into the vents by humans or by the androids. Very rarely an alien. So it definitely sounds like other survivors. Oh! Oh, they're shooting me! Ow! You missed! You missed! Ugh. Oh. How did they spot me? Okay, so maybe it's a different area? Let's see where this goes then. I mean, if those guys are still alive, then. Bring out, bring out the alien. Let the alien deal with them. Eight percent. Whoa. We're not going to stay in the sky for very long, then. I mean, the game's already had like two epic possible conclusions. You know, that you could have been fooled into thinking the game was over the first time that we blasted the alien out into space. You could have thought it was over when we jacked the generator and blew up the nest. You'd think it could have been over now. The game still keeps on going. Folder corrupted. Okay. Door access. Please open up. Did, did that work? I saw somebody then. Okay, no, it's locked, it's locked. Can I hide under the desk? Nope. I think I'm gonna have to just, uh... Surprise! 
Oh, come on, not again. Not, not this behavior again. God damn it. They're immune to shots. It's just... I'm tired of bullshittery. Don't run. I, do I look like I'm running anywhere? Stay still. You're an asshole. You took two, two shots. No one takes two shots. Damn it. Bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. Okay, so I need to head straight across. Ugh! Yeah, I, saw, I kind of just looked like part of the scenery. Okay, yeah, you want to chase me? Come on then. Okay, getting stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I am in the graphics. I'm stuck in the cabinet. Brilliant. Uh, I'm, he didn't manage to see me because I was stuck in the cabinet. <sighs> Damn. It was either you or me. It really was. I mean, you weren't going to ask questions, were you? Security. Where the hell have you been this whole time? Damn well in, you tiny employees. Ow! 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 Damn, he just unloaded a whole fracking cliff into me. He's still shooting. R quick, quick, quick. All right, that's it. You son of a bitch. Just come out. Just come down those stairs. Quick med pack. Med pack, use it now. Do it now, Ripley. Shotgun, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Damn. It was just merciless shooting at me. All right, maybe I've cleared the way a little bit. Maybe I can have a quick scout around out here. Yeah. Some shotgun shells, some flame rounds. I take I'll take it all. Nothing else here though. Wow, they totally nailed these droids. Riddled the bullet holes. Did a job for me. Ow! Oh, ah, damn it. Where are you? Where did I miss you to? Well, you were in there, weren't you? I can, is, that, is that you there? I can see you. Let's try this. Ha 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 ha. Androids might not burn so well, but people do. I know it's brutal, but... They would have done the same to me. That's what I have to... That's what I have to say. Okay. I can hear that tranquil beating... Beeping, rather, of an emergency safe zone. Which means, guys... It's time to end part 17 of this playthrough. Ah, oh, damn, that's been intense. Aliens, androids, crazy security people with shotguns. Huh. Okay, people, well, thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with a film review. And on Friday, I think I'll be with Ian this Friday for a retro gaming Friday, plus Dishonored on Saturday. I've also got a Facebook page, a Twitter page, and a Patreon page. And I'll be back next week with more Alien Isolation videos. Thanks for watching, everybody.